Hi, I'm Tim Murphy, Market Development Agronomist for Bayer Crop Science, based in South Australia. Today, we're in the Adelaide Hills, just outside of Birdwood, having a look at our pre-emergent herbicide Allion for fence line control of weeds. Some of the concerns we see with weeds along the fence line is that it's a really good bridge for that seed to move from fence line into paddock, as well as it offers a bit of a green bridge in off seasons for harboring pests and disease, which will move from that fence line into the crop later in the growing season. So some of the issues that we can see along fence line weed management is the development of resistance. Some of the things that growers do is they look to control fence line weeds after most of the seeding operations have been done. And quite often they'll use an alternative knockdown product to what they've used in paddock. And then they'll use something that they've got left in the shed or they may go to some of these longer term pre-emergence, but we're still looking at the same mode of action that they could use in the paddock. And what we really want to look at now is breaking that bridge by bringing in an alternative mode of action. Because under traditional management, where they go in a bit later in the season, we're applying these knockdown products to larger, more established weeds, and therefore we're going to be looking at maybe getting less control on them and that will increase the potential for resistance developing. One of the things we look at with Allion is bringing it slightly forward in the program and using it prior to weed germination and before seeding because it will sit on surface waiting for that rain to incorporate it in. Allion's based on Indazaflam, which is a Group 29 product. And this represents an alternative mode of action for growers to use along fence line. It's a nice low dose formulation of 150 mils per hectare and it's very compatible with all of those knockdown products that we're currently using. And it's also safe on trees, so that allows you to apply along all fence lines. When using Allion, it should always be applied with a knockdown herbicide if weeds are present, but ideally going onto bare soil and then being incorporated by rainfall within four weeks. This trial was laid down 15 months ago where we used Allion at 150 mils per hectare with two and a half litres of Roundup Ultramax. We put that up against the industry standard of terrain flow at 730 mils per hectare, once again mixed in with Roundup Ultramax at two and a half litres. And the unique thing about this trial too is we also had some perennial and annual grasses. So it gives us a good view of what Allion will do for the control of all species of, of weeds along that fence line. The Allion sat on soil surface for around three weeks before it received around 12 mil of rainfall to incorporate that product and get it working. After that rainfall, we saw the initial flushes of grass and broadleaf weeds come up and then very quickly be controlled as they emerged. In the early stages of this trial, Allion was providing effective control. And as the trial went on, and bearing in mind we're now 15 months into this, we are starting to see some weeds emerge in, in all treatments. In the industry standard, it probably would have been good to come back and do an application of another knockdown and maybe top that pre-emergent up a little bit earlier than what we have at the moment. But we've tried to push this out to see when each chemistry would break. The Allion is still providing a nice reduction of that seed bank. The trial we've got here is in a nice heavy soil. So with some good rainfall that we've had in the Adelaide Hills in last season, we've seen that length of control. In other trials we've had all over Australia, where we've got lighter soils, we sort of see slightly shorter control and we're looking at around that sort of nine months plus control before any weeds really start re-establishing. An effective long-term strategy with Allion in a fence line weed control would be something like two years of application at that 150 mil rate per hectare. And then maybe in that third year, look to rotate, whether you just go back to a knockdown product only or bring in the alternative mode of actions and other long-term industry standard pre-emergence. Feedback that growers are providing after they've been through these Allion fence line trials is that they really like that alternative mode of action to break the bridge from fence line into paddock, as well as that low dose, easy to use formulation of the product and that the safety on trees allows them to apply to all their fence lines. Growers that want to get more information on Allion and its long-term grass and broadleaf control along fence lines can contact your local Bayer representative, your Ag Chem supplier or head to the Bayer Crop Science website.